I'm going to be showing you what we need to have in our microbiology lab um, bins. So you have a bin. It's probably really gross looking. It's got a number on it. It's either going to be blue or yellow. And inside our bin, we need the following things. We are going to need a test tube rack. Test tube rack, plastic, metal, doesn't matter. Test tube rack where we're going to keep our bacteria so it doesn't roll off the table. Inoculating loop. Inoculating loops, I don't know if you can see up there, have a loop at the end, they're metal. Um, you could have one or two of these. You will also have an inoculating stab, which looks exactly like the loop, except it has no loop on the end. It's just like a little metal stick. Next thing you probably have is a wax pencil. This is how we write on our slides and this is how we write on our test tubes. Then you're gonna have some type of bread pan and I call this a slide holder. What I did was I heated glass and I bent it. So when we are doing our slides, you can rest the slide holder across the bread pan so that when we are lining them up to put dye on them, um, they don't fall in and then the dye can fall straight into the bread pan. Um, so you have some version of a, like a glass slide holder and some type of bread pan. Now, the other thing you're gonna have is a clothespin so that when we heat fix the slides um, over the Bunsen burner, we don't use our fingers, very important. You have a Petri dish filled with green soap. So it's gonna be that powdery um, soap. It contains bleach, so be careful with your outfits, but this is how we're going to scrub our slides and stuff when we're done. You have a clear bottle here with alcohol and it's going to be a different shape than a lot of your stains. Um, so you should have some type of alcohol bottle. You're also going to have some type of plastic cup with a dropper. It probably doesn't have water in it, but you're gonna have that. And then we're gonna have our stains. So you should have four different colors of stain. The first stain you're gonna have is crystal violet. Crystal violet is purple. Um, it could have CV labeled on the front of it, um, but a good way to tell is if you have a piece of paper towel and you put some drips on it and it's purple, crystal violet. The next one you could have is iodine. Iodine labeled with an I possibly. Iodine is the stuff that they like rub on your arm before they do surgery or draw blood or something like that. So um, your iodine is like a yellowy color when you put it down on white paper towel. The other one you have is safranin. Safranin is a pink colored stain. Um, safranin labeled with an S. I remember this one because saffron, the spice is kind of like um, like a pinky colored thread. So safranin is a pink colored stain. And then you have mashalite green, um, just like the name, it's green. So you should have your crystal violet, your iodine, your safranin, and your mashalite green. Um, your alcohols, your water cup, your clothespin, your soap dish, test tube rack with a loop and a stab, wax pencil, bread pan with a slide holder, and you are all set to go.